we were talking yesterday. A lot of our friends do conspiracy theories. I'm really interested in conspiracy theories. Yeah, Brittany Broski and Brittany Sarah Broski Shower and Sarah did, Shower did an episode on yeah. conspiracy theories. Um, so this next week, send us uh, some conspiracy theories. I think that'd be really fun. And we'll, we'll talk through them. I know some of my favorites are uh, the mattress store. Can you explain theory. that to me? Yeah, just like um, I need to look into the actual numbers behind it, but a lot of cities within a couple mile radius will have up to 25 mattress stores. Right. Where did you buy your mattress? I got my mattress off of Amazon as like a temp temporary mattress. Right. Because I, like, I, you know, it's it's cheap and I needed a, a mattress. Yeah. And I was waiting to get like a nice mattress. Didn't need to. It was awesome. Really? Yeah. I forget what the, it was called. It starts with an L, but it was, it's a queen size mattress and it's awesome. I freaking love it. But you won't catch me in a mattress store because I think they're filthy. Because everyone's laying on them. You're laying the on them, but also yeah. there's something sketchy going on in them. And I w- you're right to have that feeling if you feel that way. And they're huge. So my understanding is that people think there's like money laundering happening. Yeah. What? E- explain to me exactly what money laundering is because that part of Breaking Bad. Break it down. Just, I Break it down. Break me, down the words. The, Okay, for me, so there's two money. words. Money's money. involved. I know that. Yeah. Laundering. Yeah. What is that? That's mean to where you? you kind of lose me. Right. And here's why. Tell. Break down the word laundering to me. Oh, I think laundry. Laundry. So right. laundry store. Right. And to me, I think they're hi- they're physically hiding the money under the ground of the store, which has come to my attention that's not the case. The money's in the store. That I know, but it's not physically in the store. So how is it? What's happening? So it's funny you said laundry. You pay- what do you think of when you think laundry? Machine. What, what, what do you think when you think of a laundry machine? Putting coins in it. What do you think of when you think of Is a laundry machine? Is that how they get the money? No, you're going to want to think of something dirty. Something, it's dirty money. Uh-oh. Stinky. It's not laundered money. I don't it's think. Not, it's not clean. It's not been through the washing cycle. It's dirty. It needs to go to be laundered. It needs to go to the laundry room and be washed. Are you doing a bit? Nope. That's what it is. It's dirty money. Wash or wash and iron. He wasn't used to laundering his own. definition of launder. Conceal Conceal the the origins origins of money. A transfer. Oh, so you would. Okay. So what you're telling me is you would open the mattress store to say, this is where my money's coming from. Yeah. You sell the the drugs out of the back of it. It's dirty money. It needs to be laundered. Well, no, then you're telling me something different. You're, You're running an operation physically in the store or you're just saying this is where my money's coming from. You could do both if you want to do. What's happening? Did you watch Breaking Bad? Yeah. Okay, so they had a car wash. My dad made us uh, stop watching it in high school because my mom started cussing too much. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck ass. Fuck bag. Fuck boy. Fuck brain. Fuck butt. Fuck butter. Fucked. Fucker. So in Breaking Bad, there's the car wash. Did you get to that? And I yeah. watched a long time ago, but I remember that part I never understood. Because are they just pretending the money is coming from the profits of the car wash, or are they physically? They're right. It's the like money it's like when you write it off. Wash. You write off something through the car wash. Yeah, I don't okay, know. I don't know what it is. I don't. I have no idea. So that's what's happening to. to can match. we can we pull up this link really quick and see if? Yeah, Brooke, you got it. I got it. Yeah, right. I've got Luke they in my ear telling me I got say, it. Right, that more cars were washed at their car wash, and then they just put their right. illegal money in as the. Got it. The As profits. The, they're claiming so the, their income from the car wash rather than where it's actually. So the comes. whole thing with mattresses, they're saying they're they're selling more mattresses. Uh, mattresses bingo. are pretty expensive. Bingo. Well, there's something also weird about the mattress store thing because the way that they're laid out is always in a shape geographically You're on the map. You're getting too into it, I think. No, Dude, there's a... brand ears is... No, no, no. They're, they're laid out... The, oh, right here. The way they're laid out, here it is. Yeah. It's in a sort of... Layout. And you see that here in the graphic. So the way that they're laid out is sort of in a... So a layout then of sort? Yeah, you can kind of see that with your when you look at it. Mm-hmm. And that allows them to sell more mattresses and launder the money that way? Yeah. Via layout form? Sure. Okay. So we're on to it. think about it like that. Yeah. Mattress firm, we're on to you. I think we've cracked the code. If anyone has anything to say about this one that I didn't <laughs> touch on and... In our uh, deep dive, let me know. I would be curious to know how the layout actually has to do with I'm the money. Pretty, I'm remembering a different layout than this one. This one is making a little I'm bit more sense it. to me. So I what, know what you're talking about. Okay, see? 
I'm making sense. And you're kind of like how I was making sense with Courtney Kardashian's Kardashian's wedding. wedding. Yeah, talk about money laundering. Brooke refuses to touch the Kardashians because she thinks that Kris Jenner is going to come. No, I I did not say say that. that. There's another one that you put in here that Avril Lavigne is dead. Right. That's the only conspiracy theory I'm well aware of is that Avril Lavigne had died a while ago and was replaced with a lookalike and also Paul McCartney, same thing. Who does that benefit for them to be dead and or them to be alive? Well, I by the way, I saw Paul Paul McCartney in Austin. He is dead. He's just walking, walking around. Corpse. I don't know how he's doing. What I, my understanding was that they were murdered at, by the lookalikes themselves who wanted to become them and Whoa, embody freaky. them. That's what I thought, like but I don't, know if that's, I don't know if that's right. But then the fake Avril Lavigne murdered real Avril Lavigne and just assumed her life. And same with fake Paul McCartney. I wonder, oh, should I kill Tom on? Oh my God, I shouldn't say that. Yeah! I love him, so I don't. I wouldn't. Right. Do that. Yeah, I think people would notice unless you got some p- plastic surgery, which you've been wanting, by the way. Don't tell everyone <laughs> okay, on the sorry. podcast. <laughs> sorry, I, I think know. we're doing pretty well. There's a lot of people listening. I right didn't. Now. Sorry, I didn't know if that was private or. Um. Private. No, I was just. You know, you kind of you moved to L.A. and you're like, this is not going to change me, and then suddenly you're like, maybe I could get a little bit of a nose job. I don't. Your nose is looks fine to me. You know, when you kind of start to notice something and then it's kind of And then like, it becomes. You know, and I have friends that have had nose jaws and I'm like, mm-hmm. God, I'm kind of looking, kind of looking really good. I, you know, I had one. Yeah. You yeah. Look great. Well, you didn't know me before. Is, would you consider it cosmetic or did you have a nasal Oh, I, just, I had both. I think, honestly, though, they just say like, oh, yeah, you for sure have a deviated septum, even if you don't, just so you can get insurance to cover it. Mm, so like it's Adderall. hard to say. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But- Oh, <sighs> well, interesting. Yeah, so maybe I'll come on here with a broken face one of these days and maybe f- shave a little bit off the top. I always, when I was young, I went through a lot of phases with plastic surgery, and for a long time, I was like, I'm never, ever, ever, ever getting it because that episode of Glee where Leah Michelle breaks her nose and there's this whole thing. It's like, should she get a nose job? People have made fun of her nose her whole life, but what if it affects her singing? Whatever. There was this whole episode about her getting a nose job. And then at the end, they decide like, oh, baby, you're born this way. Never change anything about you. And so then I took that on for a long time. And I was like, I'm never, ever changing anything about myself because I'm born this way and I'm beautiful. And then I bet she didn't read up on this. And then it just got to the point where I was like, I hate my nose so much. But uh, I don't remember where I was going with that. And it's on the it's what's on the outside that counts, and I think that you look great. No, but I had a point. It's impossible to say, and that's okay.